there's certain areas of life that could translate into a uh, higher mental acuity, longer, you know, ability, higher endurance levels, um, higher focus levels for longer periods of time. All these things can be done better. And um, the way the world works now is everything's data driven and video games are played on a computer. The amount of data you can gain from a program that you're playing is insane. So there's, 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 there's stuff everywhere that could, that could give you insight into why people are better than other people and, and how you can improve all of those things I just mentioned. Like it's, it's a perfect, it's a perfect ecosystem for gathering data. The problem, the, 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 the problem that companies, companies build them around traditional sports are everything's wearable. Everything's based on different environments, indoors, outdoors, wind conditions, uh, uh, you know, how your body feels on a day, daily basis, all this stuff. Or, or and, and fatigue, like for example, for a pitcher, I can only pitch off a mound every couple of days. Yeah, but like there's only so much you know information we can get in small small data sets forever for a long time, and it takes a whole year to get enough to figure out if I'm going to pop my elbow or not. Um, and that even then, it's not very you know compelling sometimes. So it's it's with video games, these guys are playing for ten hours every single day all the time. Um, there's there's just a lot of opportunities to get a lot of to, sh- to clean up a lot of this stuff and a big thing, a big problem. One thing that sports do, even if you, if, even if you're bad is exercise is healthy. Um, so, so kids going out playing soccer on the three V three V three soccer team when they're six is good for their bodies. Right. But if, if those six year olds are now going to start playing games, we're going to see health deteriorating faster. It's simple. It's yeah. just going to happen. If they, if they never give sports a chance, where they don't get any exercise and that was never part of their, their life, um, then it, it's going to be a problem. But the beauty of that is people who are competitive and play competitive games, having a lot of exercise, having a lot of physical endurance can translate into being able to play a game for a really long time at a really high level. Um, well, it actually does. It just simply does. Exercise improves focus, um, um, energy levels, uh, food, like the same way that I need to have energy to go physically run and throw and uh, pitch, uh, you need to be properly hydrated and properly, uh, um, you know, fueled up to play a game for three hours, um, where the tiniest fast switch muscles need to be working constantly. Um, it, it's all the same. It's the same idea. It's just, uh, it needs to be executed in different ways. Um, and I think that that's just people don't know, like, it's all so new, especially like I went and talked to the guys at the o- overwatch league. They played one season now. So they've learned a lot of stuff. The, di- the way that these guys are different now than they- when I talk to them, than they are now, they know so much more stuff. They're regulating their sleep. They know what time the game is the next day. They know exactly how much time they need to be awake to be at their height focus-wise. Um, and people, guys were like sleep tracking themselves and setting their alarms based on that and changing their sleep patterns all the time to be as ready for like later games and as ready for, for early games so that their mental state was around the same. Like that's, a ne- that's the next level. That's what the high-level guys do. Um, and so that kind of stuff is going to become more and more and more prevalent. And then you talk the business side of it, guys are going to be asking for contracts and you're going to need to prove that they're healthy or prove that they're good or prove this, or prove that. And the more data you have on the reasons you're good, is just going to strengthen your case. And that's, you know, that's already a problem. We're looking at baseball. Like they're really agents are really like, or in our union is really weird about us wearing wearables because they don't want the team to find something and then use it against you in your contract negotiations, um, which is a valid fear. So it's, but at the same time, you can also find a really, insane, bunch of really good stuff. So um, it's all stuff that like guys who play professional video games never thought about before. Um, and now it's becoming real. Like you're playing 50 games over six months. Right. And you got to like be ready every day and like, you got to be ready for practice. You got to play high level practice or you're not going to play like, Every day matters. That's the that's the reality I've been living for eleven years. 